Good morning children. How are you all? Children, you remember 4th class SST. We were studying our country, 1st chapter. So children, I am turning a page and we are going to quickly revise our previous paragraph, some important points. Okay, like India is a unique country. It comprised one of the oldest civilization in the world. It is the 7th largest country in the world. Okay, now in terms of population, this is the second most populated country in the world after China. Now, Russia, Canada, China and USA, Brazil, Australia have larger areas than India. Then we are having a one colorful map that is Asia, location of India. See, India is there. Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal, Indian Ocean. See, now I'm turning the page. One map is there for Indian political. India is divided into 29 states and 7 union territories, including the national capital territory of Delhi. Now, India is the widest in the middle and becomes narrow towards the south. See, widest in the middle and narrow towards the south. The southern part of India is surrounded by three big water bodies in the east of Bay, West Beng, uh, east of Bay of Bengal, in the west, in the Arabian Sea and towards the south in, is the Indian Ocean. India is the only country in the world which has an ocean after its name. See, page number 7. In blue, these are the water bodies. Arabian Sea, Indian Ocean, Bay of Bengal, isn't it? Red Sea, Mediterranean Sea. Now children, coming to next paragraph, Asia is the largest continent in the world. We are having some neighboring countries. Names are Pakistan, Afghanistan, Nepal, Bhutan, China, Myanmar and Bangladesh. Sri Lanka is separated from India by a narrow strait called the Park Strait in the south. Look children, separated. And this is known as Park Strait. This is Sri Lanka. Now children, we are coming to next new paragraph. Physical division of India. The meaning, you can underline this, physical, physical and this will be your hard word. And the meaning is including the formation of climate, currents, flora and fauna okay now this uh, we are i'm reading a paragraph the surface of the earth is not uniform at all places now underlined uniform the meaning is same the surface of the earth is not uniform at all the places means the surface of the earth is not same at all the places it's different from one place to another in India, it also varies. Underline varies. The meaning is different in differ in size, amount, degree. Varies from one place to another. Varies will be a hard word. We have very high mountains, vast plains, huge desert, and great plateau region. Vast plains. Meaning of vast is, underline this, this will be your hard word. Vast meaning quantity or very great extent. Huge desert, underline huge, the meaning is extremely large. Great plateau region. Now, many rivers originate from mountains and flow towards plains. Originate, underline originate will be a hard word. Means have a specified beginning. Means a specific beginning. 
at many places these rivers make waterfalls the climate of our country also means varies from place to place means different from play one place to another in different countries we are having a different type of climate different kind of land also different kind of flora and fauna the people of india belong to many religions underlined religions meaning belief in and worship means different we are having a different caste we are having a different culture and so we used to pray different gods all god also tribes and races they speak different languages underlined languages different languages means marathi gujarati punjabi english isn't it <laughs> where different kinds of dresses and eat different kinds of food means we are having a uh, different kinds of dresses means marathi uh, they used to wear sari in different or the men used to wear different kinds of clothes in traditional form and eat different kinds of food also means uh, south indian used to have their uh, dosa idli we are having a different kind of variety of foods now we are all united as one united underline means joined together politically and all the communities we were the same we are proud to call ourselves indians our country is marked by a diversity of physical features such as mountains plateaus plain coast and islands now underline diversity meaning this will be a hard word children range of different things okay now physical features such as mountains plateaus plains coast and islands these are see these are divided the himalayan mountains in the north the northern plains the great indian desert in the west the peninsular plateau in the south and the coastal plains the islands okay children till here then afterwards we'll going to study next part thank you take care